Hey, it's uh, Brian here from Quantlabs.net. I uh, just got a tweet from this guy here at Nick Constantino. Uh, this is regarding, of all things, being able to get C Sharp calling Python from within Visual Studio. Now, this is very powerful uh, for those that might not be able to afford something like MATLAB. I played around the same thing with R. It's not as good. Um, because I'm going to show you why uh, this is better with Python as a language where you can get C sharp calling your pa uh, Python Python uh, scripts or commands. Uh, and uh, there's a few gotchas with this this URL. Uh, it's really straightforward though, but there are a few I'll point out. Let's uh, get into uh, coding, okay? Uh, first of all, let me just walk you through this. Um, you got to do some blah 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 setup with your um, Visual Studio. Now I'm using Visual Studio 2012. Uh, there is a 2013 out now, but uh, I'm using 12. Uh, so just follow these instructions to install something called Iron Python, which is Microsoft's uh, Python interpretation or implementation of Python. Now the advantage of using it this way is that you're going to call uh, Python DLLs directly within your script within your C sharp. So uh, as opposed to what you do in R, uh, which would be essentially calling an R session and bridging it, this is much better because it's just as native uh, and seems to be more direct and more uh, responsive than if I was to do it through uh, R. So that's a big ad advantage, and of course it's it's part of. Uh, from Microsoft is fully compatible with the .NET framework so that's a big advantage and I'm going to show you the performance on it which looks pretty good thus far so you do these uh, changes to your uh, Visual Studio to install the Iron Python fine and then what you do here is you're going to create a, a, a C Sharp script now here's the catch when you do uh, go into new project, you want to make sure under other languages that you see the Python options. Okay, uh, in essence, basically this file, new, project. Um, where are we talking here? Other languages? Python. There you go. Cool, huh? That's Iron Python. Uh, so that's what you're looking for, uh, and then once you get that, once you get that, then what you need to do is to create an actual C sharp application. Following these instructions, um, and what you're going to do is you're going to create also not only the C sharp, but you also have to add in these dependency DLLs in your references. Uh, so all this stuff, Iron Python, Iron Python modules, all this stuff all the way up to Microsoft scripting metadata. Now this guy's done it so good um, that you can download the source for this under his um, GitHub repository, download this, uh, and compile. Uh, this is, you're going to download this Iron Python examples. For those that are fairly frustrated with uh, with GitHub, all you need to do is just go to the, the upper or the highest hierarchy in his in his uh, in his hierarchy, and just download the zip, and then you expand the zip, and then you can get access to your subfolder of Iron Python examples. Simple and easy. So this is what uh, the script looks like. Let me just show you here. Um, I believe it's this one. So what you're going to do here is when you download, you'll extract this. You're going to have your Iron Python examples. You should be able to open with Microsoft uh, Visual Studio, and then build. That easy, and it builds. Uh, and then what will happen is. Uh, it will build all the necessary uh, DLLs that you need for your other project that you're trying to build with. So let me show you that. So under Python, Iron Python examples, I believe it's under packages. Yeah, so you just follow this Iron Python 2.74 lib, and then you want your proper framework, net point five, four point five, which I'm using, and here's all your DLLs that you need 
to install as dependencies for here. And just add reference, and then you can just add them here. Just browse, go to that folder, and just add each one individually. Simple as that. Okay, so now let's go back to our HTML. Okay, continuing along, I uh, just wanted to let people know back in our little uh, script here, our uh, HTML page here from Nick. Constantino. So we're we're gonna just focus on this one script. Uh, here's got another example of running an external script. I don't really care about that. I'm, I'm wanting to run it in line, locally from my C sharp. So simple as that. Uh, which is this guy right here. Uh, and it builds, no problem, easy peasy, which is great. That's how I like it. I'm gonna run my script. So this is C sharp calling. Hello from Python. There you go. So it's now calling the Iron Python DLL. Uh, now it's just calling Iron Python from being passed from my uh, query. Just like this. Uh, and this is what executes the Python right here. Very cool. Uh, and uh, what I love about this whole process, um, this is very easy. Didn't ask for anything more simpler. Um, good job, man. Thanks for putting that together. I really like these kind of projects. It makes my life easier, and hopefully I can extend it, put a video together. Talk to you later.